What's up YouTube, Blue Spawn here, bringing you guys a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys an all new weapon dispenser that I have made, and I will be giving you guys a breakdown sort of tutorial for it. So if you guys wish to see this, make sure to stay tuned for the rest of the video. <laughs> As you can see, it has a very clean finish, and I tried to make it as symmetrical as possible, so it looks really nice. Here you can see it from a distance. It looks very compact, and it works great. Right now, I have three weapons that you can choose from, a shotgun, sniper, or rocket launcher, and I put the weapons above the buttons, so you can easily tell which button gives you what weapon. So here you can see behind it, you can see there's some gates and some man cannons. So right now I'm just going to show you guys the first button and this is the shotgun. So it does take a little bit for the weapon to come down because it does go through a process of getting pushed by a gate and going through a couple of man cans. But eventually you will get the weapon and I have had a 100% success rate with this design after it was fully finished. There has been no flaws whatsoever so far and I've used this thing about maybe 5 times with every single weapon. So next we're going to get the sniper rifle as you can see it comes down flawlessly and then the last weapon is the rocket launcher and this is also going through another man cannon tunnel and it will come to us shortly. Now I, there's really nothing I can do about the weight but anyway it's an awesome system. It's easy to make and you can use this in your own forge worlds rather you're making an infected slayer game type whatever you want and the people playing your game can easily just get a weapon whenever they feel like it. So guys now I'm going to hop into forge mode and I'm going to do a breakdown on how I made it. I'm not going to start from scratch so we could save a little bit of time but it's super easy to make and I'll show you guys how I did that. So I'm going to jump to forge really quick. So guys, now that we're in Forge, let's give a breakdown of how this thing was made. So if you get a general look at it, you can see that is generally made up of blocks. And it's pretty simple. If you go up to the top here, you'll see that it's divided up into three columns using the block one by one tall and thin to divide them up and you can see that it's just like the buttons below so shotgun sniper and rocket launcher and then how this works is that the button below is linked to the gates and then the gates push them down into the man cannons so the first gate is set to broadcast channel one the second gate is set to broadcast channel 2 and then the third gate is set to broadcast channel 3 and the buttons are linked the same up down below. If you check it out you'll see the switch ons will be on the same broadcast channel as the gates up above so the rocket launcher is obviously going to be on broadcast channel 3 because it's linked to the same gate at the top and then the switch on linked to the sniper rifle will be on broadcast channel 2 so it uses the gate at the top to push down the sniper rifle and then you got the same for the shotgun it'll be on broadcast channel 1 like the gate at the top so it's all synced together and you can press the button whenever you want to get the weapon you want now like I said I have the guns above the buttons just so you can tell which weapons now if you were in the actual game your players might actually pick up those weapons and that would be retarded but you might be another way to do it so what happens is the weapon falls down these that sliding path right there and then it gets pushed by a light man cannon into the central regular man cannon and then this central one pushes it to the actual place where you pick up the weapon and then it's the same on the other side for the rocket launcher. There's another light man cannon and it pushes the rocket launcher the same way the shotgun does. So I'm going to drop a SMG right now and it will show you exactly what it does. And as you can see, the SMG is actually a little bit too small to have to have like the momentum to go down. But you get the idea for bigger weapons that have more momentum. And this is really meant for power weapons. I mean, you can put any weapon in this. You just have to design it a little bit differently. But right now, I have it so it's the big power weapons in the slots. And then for the right side, like I said, it has the same system. And then the middle one, where the sniper rifle is, it just falls straight down into the central man cannon doesn't need any extra light man cannons on the side 
So right now, I'm going to give you a live overview of what the rocket launcher looks like when you hit the switch on, and you could see that it's just lined up perfectly, and then the gate just knocks it right down there into the light man cannon, into the central man cannon, and then it knocks it down so you can get it. It's pretty awesome. Now, this is just the basic idea. I just want to show you guys this, and you can really expand on this as much as you want. Uh, you can make it bigger. You can make it so it faster than the way I have it. It's just so many things you can do. Now the basic idea is it's uh, by block one by one, tall and thin. That's basically what's made up of and you can just really do whatever you want so I just want to give you guys a basic idea of how I made mine so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to subscribe to the Halo Fix in my channel Blue Spartan for more good videos like this one this is Blue Spartan and I'll catch you guys in the next video